this week on DVD, two of the best movies of 2011 and season one of one of my favorite shows of the last decade. There are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap. And then there's us. Let's start with Moneyball. This is the superb adaptation of the mega-selling book about the baseball executive who changed the game. Brad Pitt deserves serious best actor consideration for his multi-layered performance as Billy Bean. This is not your typical baseball movie. Billy is certainly not your typical baseball hero. In a traditional movie universe, a guy who claims there's no room in baseball for sentiment, instinct, and the sacrifice bunt would be the villain. But you got to credit director Bennett Miller and co-writers Aaron Sorkin and Steve Zalian for infusing Moneyball with sharp dialogue and tons of heart. I love this movie. You're discounting what scouts have done for 150 years? What the hell am I doing? One of the most overlooked gems of 2011 was Killer Elite. Robert De Niro gives one of his best performances in years as a legendary assassin. Listen, Danny's gonna come back for me. And when he does, you're out of here. And he's your worst nightmare. Jason Statham solidifies his standing as a first-class action star playing De Niro's protege, and Clive Owen is perfectly cast as the former British SAS agent now working for a secret society. He's trying to stop Statham from killing each of the Brits who are responsible for the deaths of the sons of a powerful sheikh. Yes, it's complicated, but it's a crackling thriller with three stars at the very top of their game. Liquor will be declared illegal by decree of the distinguished gentlemen of our nation's Congress. Mm -hmm. To those beautiful, ignorant bastards. Yeah. Also new this week is season one of Boardwalk Empire. HBO's epic series is about the crime-riddled Atlantic City of the Prohibition era. Steve Buscemi has the role of a lifetime playing Nucky Johnson. He's the ruthless power broker who does have his moments of humanity and compassion, but those moments are fleeting. With sweeping visuals, amazingly detailed sets, perfect music choices, great writing, and a superb ensemble cast, Boardwalk Empire is more like a series of first-rate, one-hour movies than a TV series. Fantastic stuff this week. Get to watching. I'm Richard Roper, and I'll see you at the movies.